Hey guys, welcome back. I have another coding interview question for you. So what we're going to do today is write a function that finds the first non-repeating character in a string. Alright, so imagine that we have this string here. As you can see in this string, we have we have this string called content and we set it equal to this string that we have here. A, A, B, C, C, D, E. And what we want to do is find the first non-repeating character within this string and as you can see here the first null repeating character is B so we're gonna jump right into it okay so we're gonna start off with this string here first of all we have to find a way that we're gonna break this string up alright so the best way to do this is to just turn each one of the characters in this string into an array. We can do this like this. String content array. You want to create an array of this. Set it equal to content dot split. Okay? And we want to split this by an empty string. As you can see, each one of these letters are separated by an empty string. That's why we're splitting them. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is to create some variables, okay? So we know we're gonna want a variable that holds the count of each one of the um, characters within this string content. So we want int count equals zero. That's what we wanna start it off as. Um, the count is zero. So another thing that we're gonna need is this thing called a hash map hash map all right now this hash map is actually going to take in a string as well as an integer all right i'm going to create a new instance of this new hash map all right and Alright, the next thing that we want to do is actually um, create ourselves. Well, let me explain why we're creating a hash map. Now, we're creating a hash map because a hash map is used to implement an associative array and it contains key value pairs. So, what we're going to try to do is associate each one of the characters within this string with a specific value. So, each character in this string is going to be associated with a count of how many times a specific character occurs within this string. All right. So now we want to create ourselves a loop. All right. So for int i equals zero, i is lesser than content array dot length so we want to iterate through that array that we created earlier i plus plus okay now in here what we want to do is check and see well as we're iterating through this array list we want to check and see um, if the hash map of a particular character is empty so we want to go if hm dot get no hm dot contains key and then the contains key is going to be the um the current you know what we're actually before we even do this we have to let's go we have to create this thing we have to create a variable before we do, even do this we have to create a variable and we're going to name this variable current letter string current letter all right so you want to set the current letter equal to content array at position i all right so this current letter is just going to hold the current position of the array that we're in of this array that we're in this content array all right, so then we want to add our conditional statement. So we want to go if not h m dot contains key.
current letter, then we want to do something. So what's going on here is that I'm checking to see if the current letter that is being passed in in this particular iteration is existent within this hash map. And if it's not, if it doesn't exist within this hash map, then I want to actually add it to the hash map. So I'm going to go hm dot put and then current letter and then the number one. And another thing I want to do is that the count equal to one. Okay, now what I'm doing here, I'm just adding this current letter that you can see here and I'm adding a count for the current letter. So if the current letter has not been added to that particular hash map, then I actually want to add it to the hash map and I want to increase the count associated with that particular number to one. All right, so after this, I want to do an else. So this else is basically stating that if the current letter already exists within the hash map, then what I want to do is actually increment the count by one. All right, so I'm going to go hm.put. So if it's already within that hash map, then I'm going to add this current letter and I want to increase the value. I want to, I want to increase the count by one. So I'm actually going to go count equals count plus one. And then here we're just going to pass in count. All right. So after we do this, we can simply just print out the hash map to see what we have so far. So we're going to go sys out hm. Save. And we're actually going to run this and see what we get. All right. So as you can see down here, this is our hash map that we have, A. And as you can see, A occurs two times, which is exactly what we're getting here, two. And then we have B, which occurs once, one. We have C, which occurs two times, C, it occurs two times. Then we have D, which occurs only once, D occurs once. And then we have E, which also occurs once. So we have a hash map that takes in each one of the characters and it's associating each one of the ca those characters with the count of each one of the characters. So there's something else that we actually want to do after this because we want to find, um, and we actually want to find the first non-repeating character. All right, so we want to create ourselves a loop for, let me center this. All right, so we want to go for int i equals zero, and then i is lesser than content array dot length, okay? And then we want to go i plus plus. Well. Length actually, that's a property, not a method. All right, after we do this, we want to actually create a string now string x, and then we want to set this equal to content array at position i. All right, so we're just storing the current. So we're going to iterate through this array list again, and we're searching, and we just want to set this equal to a variable. After we do that, some more space. All right. Okay. All right. So after we do that, what we need to do is add ourselves an if conditional statement. So if at if um, hash map dot get x and if this is equal to 1 then let's 
too much white space here. All right, so if hm.getx equals to one, then we simply just want to go sys out x. Now this x is going to hold this character, the first repeating character that doesn't repeat. All right, so to explain this right here, what we're doing is if the hash map dot get x equals one. So as you know, we're going through this content array and it's, 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 it's um, starting at the beginning of the array and it's moving to the next element within the array, then the next element in the array. So as this array is being progressed through, it's gonna check to see whether um, some of the um, elements are duplicated or not. So we're basically saying if hm, if we go back down here, if hm.getx, so if hm.getx right here, so if b equals one, then we simply just wanna print that out. And what we also wanna do is just add a break right here because after we get the um, first none repeating element, we simply just want to break out of the loop. And the reason we're breaking out of the loop is because we also have um, other elements within this hash map that also have a one, but we want to get the first none repeating. So from here, we have A equals two, and then for the first none repeating, we're going to have B. So we actually want to go up here, save, run this application, and this is what we get B, which is the first none repeating element in this string that we have here. So if you ever get asked this on an, inter on an interview, you, you know exactly how to solve this problem. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something here. Um, also, subscribe and see you on the next one.